Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Well, it's about 2 a.m. on a weeknight and I feel like playing a little crawl. I had a couple of warm-up games, um, which didn't go well at all. <laughs> so I'm a little apprehensive about this, but we're going to try and continue with Vomitath here and uh, hope that we don't tab our way into an early death. Let's see where we left him. At the stash, apparently. And it would appear that we've done Orc. We have yet to do Shoals, Snake, and we've been down to the bottom of the dungeon. So let's check to see if we have Poison Resistance, which we do, and head off to the old Snake Pits. I'm going to have to be a little careful here. <clears throat> Of course, I don't have spells. Um, let's just reacquaint ourselves with our inventory here. We have an amazing axe. We probably couldn't get much better than that axe, so we'll stick with that. Uh, freezing might be viable here in the snake pits, as it will slow the snakes down. Um, we have a shield and a good amount of resources in terms of scrolls and it would appear potions as well. We should be all right. Um, let's just auto explore until we find our first snake. And there it is. He goes down pretty easily and is sacrificed to our dark god. Um, let's funnel him in here. Constriction is possibly a problem. I'm not entirely used to it as I usually play casters. So it's going to be something we're going to have to watch out for. I think as long as we play conservatively, then it shouldn't be a problem. Let's burn this Book of Summonings and continue on. So far, so good. I can see... What did he do? Oh, he... All lobes. Toxic radiance, I imagine. Uh, fortunately, we are resist a lek, I believe, as well. Yes. Excellent. And do we have Gourmand? I believe we do. And somebody told me, I believe, that we missed a shield. Let's see. And we did. Let's go get that. Let's go get that for anything. God knows what type of shield it is. It could be very good. Or it could be a plus one shield. Let's see what we have. So what I kind of miss about the old versions is usually when you had a... Uh, plus two. Usually when you had a ruined shield, it, it meant something. It was, uh, it was either good or cursed, but it, it meant something. But now, it could be a plus one shield. Whereas your average shield lying around used to be able to be, you know, a plus one shield. And I like that a lot better. Although it wasn't in line with the philosophy of the game, I suppose. <clears throat> As it required a little bit of tedious exploration. But it rewarded you for that. I think I've made that point before. <clears throat> but it's worth complaining about again. Alright, so, so far these snakes are not going to be much of a problem. Um, they have improved the archers here. Uh, let's back off here. And the archers are a little difficult. We've got a god gift here. A hunting sling. Let's eat one of the nagas, get filled up a little bit. And sack the rest. <clears throat> Those electric nagas are pretty deadly. We don't really have to worry about the mana vipers. Um, just the constriction we have to pay attention to. I think. And I believe the archers are pretty deadly as well. This might not be the longest video tonight, but we'll see what we can do to get the rune. At least. So far, it looks like we've done floor one, and that went pretty quickly. 
All right, down we go. There's a leather armor, which we'll have no... Huh. The electric aura, I, I see, damages the adjacent enemies, which is somewhat useful, I suppose. No problems so far. Got a bit of a swarm that came from that shadow trap. We're gonna have to get away from the shadow trap. It just keeps summoning more of them. I'm tempted to put on Trog's hand, but I won't yet. Okay. Uh, we're constricted. Still okay. Well, we handled that bunch of Nagas pretty well. Okay, here come the archers. So let's just back off here and take them one at a time as they come around the corner. Get into melee with the archers. They can be pretty deadly with those crossbows. But our shield is providing good resistance. And we have a great number of enchant armor skulls. Let's do a search for plates. Any ruined plate? Nothing. Um, Alright, level 2. We'll find better armor eventually. I'm tempted to enchant the plate up, but why waste it? So most likely we're going to swap it out for crystal plate armor, but uh, if we can find it. Um, however, dragon skin, gold dragon would be great. Uh, we just have to run into a gold dragon. Which isn't going to happen for a while. These nagas and snakes aren't proving to be much of a challenge at all. As long as we don't play stupidly, we should be alright. And we've got another gift here. Let's go check it out. Um, another war axe might be worth picking up. Okay, uh, let's just rest up a little bit, recover our health. What are we training? Not the usual. Let's turn off fighting for a little bit and get our axes up a little more. Got 158 hit points. That's that's fairly good. Could be better, but I just want to focus our axes and our armor up a little more. And here's where you have to watch out for constriction, but we're powerful enough to chop right through them at this point. Um, let's just move up here and funnel them in. Okay, that was a little sloppy, but we handled it fine. No need to use Berserk or any of our skills so far. We're just making mincemeat out of them. Snake Pit 4. And the video's only gone on for 8 minutes. We should be able to get the Ruin in under 15 minutes, I imagine. Ooh, he looks deadly. I like his shield, though. Um, don't want to get surrounded, so let's back off a little bit. And take care of the fast snakes before. We are constricted, so let's keep an eye on our health. And let's go get that nice shield. A large shield. I like the looks of it. And we have another... Okay, well... Let's draw... It looks like we didn't even pick up that other axe. Um, okay, let's drop some of these wands. We've got some good stuff here. Pick up the axe. Uh, do we have the shield? Let's get that shield too. Okay, our attack speed is very fast. 
if we wear the large shield, our attack speed is quite fast. Let's drop armor, put shields back on, and that should be fine. Um, okay. Now it's time to identify this ring. Strength 4, armor class minus 2, MP, meh. I can't see that being too useful, so we'll just drop it. Um, now let's remove the curse and try out this new axe. Anti-magic. Nothing's going to beat our artifact axe, so we'll just keep that in hand. Is it worth swapping out for this large shield, though? I guess we'll find out. So far, so good. I think we'll be fine. And I think it's much better to have 21 shield than whatever I had before. Uh, we will have to continue to train shields quite a bit, though. Good time to go berserk. Um, I don't think it's necessary, and it would appear it isn't. Get a point of strength and continue to hack away. Really, there's not too much strategy for a Minotaur Berserker. It's all about senseless violence. Ooh, nice demon blade. I like the new graphics for the demon blades and whips and that sort of thing. They look quite... Just yank the headphones off my head. Let's try not to make any mistakes like that. During gameplay. Okay, looks like the constriction isn't even bothering me that much. That's a nice, uh, nicely laid out level. I like that. Okay, now we're down to level 5, and let's see what we can find. Oops. Let's get our first rune, shall we? As soon as we take care of this fellow, down we go. Uh, might be worth reading a magic mapping if we have a lot of them. Yeah, let's do it. Hmm, interesting layout. Uh, we'll stay on the stairs for now. See if we can beat back the first wave of them. Uh, <laughs> okay, here's where constriction gets a little dangerous. So let's get a brother in arms up. There he is. And let's go berserk as well. And now we should be able to use our cleave ability. We'll keep concentrating on the on the blue naga there until he's dead. Our friend will continue to come up from the south. We've got, oh, we've got a nice new axe to look at. Okay. Let's rest up. Uh, let's, we really need to drop some stuff here. Um, we'll get rid of the normal shield. I guess we'll get rid of the normal axes. We'll keep the flaming. What else are we carrying here? We really should get rid of some of that food too. Um, I should just make a trip up to the stash. Let's see what we have here though. Plus far, oh no, it's an axe of distortion. Uh, okay, let's see what happens. Whew. We got contaminated, but um, we're still alive. Let's head back up to the stash, and hopefully we didn't get mutated. Oh, well, we did get mutated. Pretty badly, too. I think we have a cure mutation here, though, so let's 
first let's sort out our inventory. Um, this axe has to go. We are carrying around a lot of rings. Uh, see invisible. Okay, that can go. Minus two cursed ring. Do we have any source of see invisible apart from that ring? No. So let's put it back on. Um, we will drop all the enchant scrolls. Silence might come in handy. Uh, summoning might come in handy. Holy word might come in handy. Mm, teleportation and blinking certainly will. Magic mapping is always nice. Um, a good variety of wands. Teleport. We'll, we'll drop one of the teleport wands. We don't need two. Uh, ring of teleport control. Do we really need that? We have a lot of scrolls. So, I mean, I usually like to keep it for an emergency, but... You have to swap out the ring and then evoke it, so it's not that easy. Uh, we'll keep protection from cold, but we have two of them, so we'll drop the, one of them. And we'll identify this last potion. And Berserk Rage, okay, well that's not necessarily worth having. And we'll get the Cure Mutation, and quaff it, and Cure our Mutations. There we go. We are vibrant. We are calm and we are quiet. All right. Well, that's about it. Back to the snake pit. So I was my own worst enemy there. My greed to, ch to check the new axe almost got me killed. Oh, here they come. Um, I'm going to count on the lightning guy to kill some of our enemies here. And he did that well. Let's put on Trog's hand, just because we're poisoned. So we might as well regenerate a little bit. And in case they try to teleport us, we'll be uh, somewhat protected from magic. I would summon a... Uh, an ally of Trog, but I don't think we need it right now. There we go. Let's sacrifice them all. And continue on. I think we lost a lot of sacrifices there in that initial battle, but what can you do? Yeah, I'm going to miss those axes, but do I really need them? I mean, the axe of freezing might be all right for some cold-blooded creatures like the snakes and that sort of thing, but I can't really see swapping it out for... Uh, I can't see swapping my, my artifact weapon out. I mean, why would I? It's just better. Uh, we're surrounded now and constricted, so... We're going to go berserk, and we're also going to uh, put on regen. How do they keep getting behind me? This is not good. I want to keep attacking, but I don't want to overextend myself. I will take a step towards them because I think that's about it. And now we'll sacrifice. We got a great mace there. Let's just back off a little bit. Okay. Here's the courtyard. There's a nice little pool there. And wow, there's a lot of snakes in there. Um, let's, whoa. We are surrounded. Might be time for a brothers in arms. And let's also put on regen. Got scrolls of blinking in case we need them. I, I'm attacking to the upper left so I can sort of make a, a getaway. And they keep surrounding me. Somebody's teleporting them. That's fine. Our brother in arms is 
doing excellent work on our flank there. I'm going to continue hacking at the red naga here until we get a little place to hide. Unfortunately, they have pole arms, so they're not going to come after me. But that's all right. With our brothers in arms, we had no problem. Nothing quite like a berserk stone giant on your side. And here we have a scroll of brand weapon that might come in handy for one of those axes that we don't want. Um, let's head back and use it. Uh, how about the broad axe of freezing? If we could turn this into a vampiric broad axe, it might be worth hanging on to. Uh, now it's flaming, so we can drop the war axe of flaming, because a broad axe is better than a war axe. And that is our hydro weapon. Right? Right. Okay, let's take a break from the rune chamber for a little bit. And let's just tab our way through here. Oh, there's still surrounding us somehow. I'm going to put on regen. Just to counter all this poison. They really have a way of getting around and surrounding you. And it's not too much to worry about apart from the constriction. Maybe I'm a little too worried about it, but constriction has killed me before. Okay. There we go. Back to the rune chamber. Which is more or less cleared out, I think. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. We should be able to just slaughter them as they pour out of here. Ooh, there's another large shield. Give me your shield, please. Oh, and this one's glowing. How delightful. Let's pick it up. Sacrifice all our enemies. And let's try on our new shield. It's a plus two large shield, and that certainly beats our plus zero large shield. It's also got a very interesting design, which oddly looks like the shield we just dropped, which looked nothing like this. I'm not complaining. Trog, for some reason, sees fit to give us a quarter staff, which we don't want. We are surrounded again, thanks to some unknown force which manages to teleport them. We are constricted, so let's keep that in mind as we hack our way out. And again, we are surrounded. Um, let's go for the Brothers in Arms technique here. And the regen, why not? And let's also go Berserk. Let's just pour our full wrath down upon them. Go get them. Go get them, my friend. I will sacrifice their friends back here. And you just work on chopping them up. Alright. He'll disappear eventually. And there's the rune. Oh, it's back off. Not quite yet. Greedy fingers. There we go. And that's one. Now that I have the treasure, they are fully demoralized, and I shouldn't have a problem hacking my way out. And that's it. Let's do a search for a shield in case we missed any better ones. No. No. Let's do a search for an artifact. We've got... Ring of the Savior, Leather Armor, yeah, nothing we want there. Okay, back to the stash. Die, please. Thank you. And let's start eating. We haven't eaten in quite a while. I 
I don't think I ate in that entire last battle. Uh, and let's just use our shortcut key to head right back to the stash. Did we pick up anything undesirable? Do we need 10 scrolls of recharging? Um, well, we do. But let's just recharge the teleportation wand. And let's recharge the digging wand. Let's uh, drop the paralysis. And then drop all those scrolls of... Oops. Drop all the recharging. We don't need them. Uh, silence is good in case we run into a nasty spellcaster. I'll probably never think to use it. Uh, along with lignification there. We have four portions of flight. I'm reluctant to go into the shoals, but... You know what? Let's just do the first level. The video's only run 26 minutes now. So let's pop our way into the shoals and see what happens. I'm going to eat all the beef jerky. You know what? I'm just going to go back to the... I'm going to go back to the stash and drop some of this food. I keep meaning to do it, and I keep forgetting because it's not on screen when I look at it. Uh, what should we keep? 25 royal... Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're going to keep the meats and the royal jellies and everything else can go. Yeah. 25 royal jellies is, uh, is pretty good. Onward to the shoals and let's see what we can find here. Uh, artifact ring mail. Uh, it's, it would have to be really well enchanted to worth, be worth considering. Here come some fawns. Last time I fought these guys, they were I was a spellcaster and they were very annoying. Uh, but they got destroyed easily as a Minotaur Berserker. As does this filthy merfolk. Another gift, a uh, glowing hand axe, which is Certainly not even worth picking up. Trog's just starting to troll me at this point. <laughs> Where are you going? How dare you run away, harpies. Might as well pick up that rod and let's let the uh, snapping turtle come in on us. They can be fairly dangerous, but again, I'm used to playing a, a caster. I just played an elf tonight for a while. I lost a good elf, unfortunately. I had forgotten how squishy they are. They certainly are squishy. Even high elves. Okay. Let's do one more level. In the vein hopes that we find some decent armor. And our shield is really doing excellent work repelling this sort of stuff. Um, zombies are coming at us. and What kind of snapping turtle is that? An alligator snapping turtle. Not sure I like the looks of him. And he is rather tough. Now let's go berserk. Not take any chances. Okay. Now, one of the comments told me that uh, Gourmand is not really worth having. I don't think I have an amulet that um, I'd rather have on right now. Or I don't think I have another useful amulet that's worth wearing. Um, I'm not sure what's happening to me, but I can't move. And everything's gone gray. All I know is I want to be standing on land when I fight, so... Okay, I was looking for that plate armor that just came up in the description. And there it is in the bottom left. Okay, again, nothing to worry about. A nice strong minotaur like me should be able to break out of nets easily. 
those nets can really be deadly if they're thrown at the wrong time. And this Wind Drake is uh, an interesting monster. He can push you back. And he's a little difficult when you're a caster. I'm not sure he's making all these zombies. There must be uh, some sort of necromancer around here. Level 19. Let's go for the Aquamancer. They can do a great amount of damage if you're not careful. I think I'm, I'm resisting cold, which will help. There we go. Minotaur Berserker. Easy mode. One more level. Oh, it's Izul. Let's get close to him. Berserk. And chop him down. And that's how it's done. Okay, we'll just take on the tentacles as they come to us. And that is one dead Kraken. No problem. I remember the first time I fought a Kraken, I was terrified, standing back, dodging tentacles, launching orbs of destruction at them. And I won the first time I fought, and I won. But as a Minotaur Berserker, I hate to say it's easy mode, but it certainly is a lot easier than playing a caster. Once you get powered up. Of course, I say that and then promptly die, so I should be careful. Especially on uh, Shoals 5. Shoals 5 is no joke, no matter what kind of character you are. It's really easy to overextend yourself. I've died more times on Shoals 5 than I think anywhere else. Okay, and speaking of which, we're getting a little dangerous here. Um, this calls for brother-in-arms for sure. Okay, uh, maybe two of them. Let's also put on regen. Um, which one is mesmerized me? They have to die, but this this alligator snapping turtle is deadly. We're taking hits by all those polearm users. We're going to go berserk. We're too mesmerized. We have lots of heal wounds, so we should be okay. Um... Haste, might. Yeah, let's let's go for might. See if we can chop down this alligator. There we go. Alligator um, snapping turtle, and we broke free of the mesmerization. Whew. That was actually pretty close there for a moment. We got ourselves into a bad situation, just as we were talking about how easy Minotaur berserkers are. got to be careful. And uh, the next, well, Shoals 5. I'm going to read a magic mapping just in case we missed anything. It looks like we got everything. I'm always paranoid about some far-off island containing mysterious treasures. Uh, okay. Let's put on MR. She stepped into range with me, and we're just going to chop her up. There we go. Apparently there's some flame there. I wanted to butcher and eat the hog. And here come the harpies. Let's just fight them off. One of them's running away, but they won't get far. Okay, good. It's a normal snapping turtle. I'm not sure when they added those alligator snapping turtles, but they are um, a lot tougher. Ring of Dexterity might be useful. We'll pick it up. Might as well pick up the Glowing War Axe as well. We have another brand weapon. And I'm tempted to use it on our Flaming War Axe. Because really, are we going to fight that many more Hydras? I don't know. Let's just hold on to it for now. Oh, okay. Speaking of amulets, there we go. And we have to drop these rods, which we will never, ever use. And the Wand of Polymath. And this Wand of Digging. And this Wand of Flame. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Let's pick up that amulet. 
We've got barbs now. Oh, and Mara's here. Okay, regen's on. I'm going to make for that orange hatch in the in the. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm going to continue. Let's get out of here. Okay, I can fight Mara, but I want to engage her on my terms, and not with those stupid manticores around. Um, it's MR. Let's get a brother in arms. Be nice if we just took her down right here, and we did. Good. The troll's holding off the manticore. Let's go for the cyclops. He's dead, too. Okay, that was uh, one of the easier Mara fights I've, I've encountered. She really didn't even fight back. I mean, usually there's illusions, there's three or four Maras, there's a, a ghost of myself, and that was what I was really worried about. You don't want to fight another Minotaur Berserker. I'm going to put on MR, just because we're marked, and we might not get a rest. Okay. Another Kraken wants to stand here and fight off his tentacles. Is he dead? Now he is. And there we go. Okay, so that is a good majority of the Shoals done. We're going to leave Shoals 5 for next time. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.